Yay, and we're back. Now this level really, really, really made me angry. And it's not even that hard of a level, it's just I was incredibly stupid. I mean, and I can be fairly stupid at times, but this, this was so much worse. Because I got, I thought, I seriously, I was trying to figure out how to beat this level forever, and I didn't realize that you had to click on the stupid pole. And, oh man, it's like, you gotta click on the pole you're stuck on. And to get the dog to run over there and push it over. And I didn't figure this out forever. I didn't even try to check it. Because, like, when you're when you're moving your cursor on, it actually turns into a hand or something like that. When you can click on something. And I didn't notice the pole. And I did all this other crap. I mean, I did the crap with the picking the bug up. And I did all that. But, um, I couldn't figure out how to get me off that stupid pole. And, oh, it made me so mad when I realized how easy, how truly easy this level was. And just, oh. Oh, <laughs> I just love the look on this guy's face because you know you know this is bad. You know this is terribly a terrible quality. Like, you, they did it on purpose though. You can definitely tell that. You can see the quality everywhere else. Oh man! But this place made me mad because um, like we have to get this guy's pipe, and it's pretty easy. You know, you grab the bell, put on the end, tip, tip the thing over. It's actually like it's pretty. This is a pretty nice one. But like when he says it's tobacco and he points down, I clicked around there forever. I couldn't find any, I couldn't find what it is in that little hole right there. You have to click on it in like at the right place because like, I don't know what was wrong with me, but I was clicking around everywhere and it wouldn't let me do anything. And it was just making me mad. I'm like, why can't I find out what to do? And it's like, you just gotta click on the right place at the right time. Now this is the very last puzzle of the game, and it is really, really, it's really hard, and for multiple reasons it's hard. Because it's very long, it's the reason why it's hard, and um, that you you see it in the background, that little mountain. Well, I you don't really know, I don't, I didn't notice that that you could actually go back there, and I, it it took me forever to figure that out. And I'm sitting there trying to work all this crap, trying to do certain things, and. Um, and I, and there's like there was like huge steps missing, and I'm like, why? What's going on? I woke the guy up. How come this is not working? And then when you when you go back and you click back there, you walk back there, and then you got to do this, all, all these other things. It's like really, but it's not too bad. Yeah, see, you go back there. You you can do this stuff in this level first, but I I I just go back there because it is one of the harder parts because it's a huge kind of timing puzzle kind of thing. Now here's the part of it that I I, I kind of don't like about this this part right here was the fact that whenever you throw whatever that is onto the, the little I don't know sloth whatever the thing is sloth for you know pig feeding um, wherever you put that you actually you basically gotta wait for the guy to come down and then he farts and then you capture the bubble into the into the what's it called into the balloon 
And like it's basically what I do is I just put it in the middle. That way, whenever you, wherever you throw it, you have you have only one way to go in order to capture the part. But the, the big the big problem is like it seems very random for me. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe it's very. Uh, maybe it's actually put out in a certain way. But it's like I've done this like three or four times because the, for my first time playing through it, I kept messing up, and I had to keep coming back and doing it over and over again. And it just seemed like there was a different pattern every time. So. You know, I don't, I don't know if there is a, if there's a if there's a correct pattern, you know, whatever. But it's just keep it in the middle. That way, no matter what, no matter what, they're not gonna it's not gonna get far away from you because you're only one you're only one turn away from any of that. So. Now this puzzle is actually probably the easiest one out of them all because the guy's asleep. What do you do? You put water and coffee together in a pan, you boil it, and then you make him drink it. And it's just like I wish it was a little bit more complicated than that. But I mean, I guess it's kind of cool. I mean, you can. There might be other combinations that you can give him. But I, what I did the first time was just put all the crap inside the pan and then fed it to him, and it made him sick. And it's like you know, stupid stuff. But the coffee is just—it's really, really easy to do. So. I'll, and, um, nah, never mind. This, this is the end. It's pretty self-explanatory. That's another one of those things where you actually have to click on the character, too. But you, you can figure that out pretty easily. Well, that's the end of Sam Ross 2. I mean... Not a very, not a very long game, but still kind of fun. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't purchase it for more than five dollars. If you have to pay for it, I would, I would say try to get it as low as you can, two dollars, maybe three. But even then, I mean, still enjoyable. So, thanks for joining in. Thanks for watching. Um, please come back. I've got more LPs coming. I've got more reviews coming. I've got more vids coming. And I hope you guys enjoyed. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.